In this video, I'm going to guide you how you can easily use Odo Project Management. Odo is a suite of open source business apps that cover all of your company needs. You can also get CRM with it, e-commerce, accounting, inventory, point of sale, and of course, project management that we are going to focus on right now. So the first thing that we are going to do, I'm going to click here, start now, it's free. We are going to create our own account. If you already got your account, guys, completely skip this step. So I'm going to click start now, it's free. Now, what you have to do is to fill everything here. So with the name and email. So first and last name, Marcus Tonelius. Email address, I'm going to use this one here. Company name, Sun We. And phone number. Slovak Republic, that's where I'm from right now. Company size, I got less than five employees. And interest, use it in my company. That's what I'm going to use it. Of course, you can use it as a student or a teacher. And then click start now. You can also, um, you can allow recording the start of the trial session if you want to. And click start now. Okay, welcome to Odo. Let's just wait now, it's loading. The one platform you will ever need, of course. And then you see it right here, project. And when we're right here, the first thing that we are going to do, we are going to create a project. But right before that, I want to show you some kind of walk walkthrough what you can actually find. So when you would click here on a project, you would get right here. Then you're gonna see tasks here, reporting and configuration. This is the main menu. Other than that, it's pretty simple. Of course, my recommendation is definitely activate database here and add a password. Activate database. And now I'm going to refresh it. I don't have the pending verification here. So now how we can create a project. Click here on a project and click create. Here, you're gonna have the project name and let's say this is going to be YouTube channel. Then you see create tasks by sending email to, to someone. So if oh, you can create it like this, create the tasks by sending email to someone. If you want me to, you can add it right here. The name of the email alias jobs if you want to catch emails. Let's click create and right here. So now when we created our own first project, we can add the column title, new in progress done. So let's go like that, new, click add, then we are going to add progress and done. And what I can do also add not deleted. Now, when we go further, we can simply click create and let's learn how we can easily create our first task. So I'm going to click here under project create right here. I'm going to add a task title and I can add, let's say my project is YouTube channel and I'm going to add that my task is YouTube video. You can, of course, change the assign to. So if you're going to like invite people in Odo, you can simply assign it to someone else too. And then let's click add. Then you can click and what you can do with the task. So you can simply move it somewhere else. So let's say we have YouTube video and what I can do, I can move it to progress or done or delete it. And what else can I do? I can click on my task. Let's click on it together. I can star it so it's going to be like my priority and it's going to be important. And now, what did we feel here? So we're gonna see the project, YouTube channel. Then we're gonna see the assigned to, which is me, Marcus Tonelius. And then we're gonna see uh, the deadline, tags, and customer. So what we have to do is go to top left and let's click edit. And right here, when we see the name, the project assigned to, we have deadline right here. And let's say for this task YouTube video, we have deadline of today is September 7th, let's say tomorrow. Tags, 
I can start typing and start writing here. Let's say that I would write YouTube and I'm going to create YouTube tag and then I have customer here. These are the customers that I created in CRM, but what I can do, I can simply write here, Marcus YouTube customer, and I can simply click here, create and voila. Now, when I would click here on external link, let's click on it and let me show you something here. You can edit the customer. So when I'm going to have the task here, I can see the customer and let's say we created it right away. But what I can do is to go to right side and click on external link right here. I would, I can have it as an individual or a company. So let's say that that task regard a company, Marcus YouTube customer, and I can edit right here, but let's say it's an individual that I have a task for the customer. Let's say the address would be And this is my own country. Like this and zip like this. You can also add a text ID here, job position, phone, mobile, email, website link. So let's say I'm going to add a like this. I can add email address here title tags, then you have option to also regards of your customer, add contacts and addresses, sales and purchases, internal notes, and then I would click save right here. Now when you're going to do it, uh, you can always find all your customers. So in the moment when you're going to create a customer, you can use it forward too. So in the next projects, next tasks that you can, that you're going to create, you can easily just choose the customer. Then you're going to see the description here. And in the description, you can add a description about the task right here. So what I can do, I can change the header. I can make it bold. So let's say task option like this. I can make it italic. I can make it also underline it. Or I can remove the font style. See. I can change the size of the font. I can simply add list or ordered list. Then I can add a checklist. So let's say that I'm going to add a checklist right here. And let's say for YouTube channel and for YouTube video, I need to add YouTube SEO. Then I, this is, these are like subtasks in my opinion, YouTube SEO, just checklist, YouTube SEO. Then we would have also Then I would have YouTube SEO, YouTube description, and also let's say calendar. And this would be mine. Look at the C and I can simply click on the checklist. Then what I can do is to add a table here. I can link it or I can insert image and file. And that's pretty much it how you can do it. So this is what you can see what you can done. And when we go even further, what we can do here. So I can see the activity, what was happening. I can send the message to someone. So I can click here, log note, send the message and send message to followers. So this is where you can find it. Hi there. And I can add a smiley face. See? I can log note or schedule activity. So what you can do and what you can do for the task for your task, you can always schedule activity. Let's say, let's say that I want to have a lunch with someone on the YouTube video. So what I need to do is to scroll down below on a task and click here, schedule activity. And now we have option to see activity type right here. It's a to do email meeting, Apple document. Lots of, let's say it's a meeting and I can add summary lunch assigned to Marcus Tonelius, me due date 9th of seven. And then uh, I would have, so I'm going to have a lunch with a client regards a YouTube growth and channel. 
and then I would schedule it right here on the bottom left. You can also mark it as a done or done schedule next. So I'm going to click schedule and voila, here we are. And then I'm going to see the progress here. So what I need, what I can do. So this task is at new on the right top corner. You're going to see new and progress. So you can simply click progress and then it's going to be in progress. So this is pretty much it, how we can do it. And let's click that save on the top left. Then what I can do, I can simply click create again and create the next task. So let's say I'm going to click on a project. This is my project YouTube channel. For my YouTube channel, I see new progress done deleted. And then what I can do, as you can see, it's today. The task is activity. I can be ready blocked here or I can add a message and write a message right here. So again, you can simply move it like this. You can, of course, on a filters group by, you can filter it, just search only for favorites. And then this is another option. You can easily view lists here. So it go to the top right. You can between Kanban view, have it as a list of your tasks. And you're always going to see the stage and everything. See? Then again, you have option to find a calendar on the top right. Pivot. In calendar, it works really well because you see what is happening. Like today is a Tuesday and I have task for Wednesday. Then I can view the graph here. These are like analytics. And uh, this is like the view activity and view map, like when, where it's actually happening, what you want to find. So when I'm going to click on the tasks again, I can see the tasks. When I'm going to click on the projects, I would find projects in tasks. You would find all your tasks that needs to be uh, done. So you don't have to go through the projects, but of course I can find it as a view. So these are in progress that I need to fill out. Then I can see the reporting and tasks analysis and configuration. And when you're going to click on the configura configuration, I can show you how you can set up settings. So click on the configuration and let's click on settings right here. You have tasks management as a collaborative path, subtasks. So let's click on it and let's enable subtasks. And then we can enable also recurring tasks. And let's look how we can do it. Time management, plan resources allocation across projects and tasks. So let's also enable planning. And you can have timesheets too. So let's look at it, how it's going to look like. But right before that, before we go to subtasks and recurring tasks, let me show you the project. I'll save. Configuration. Now you need to load and need to set up all the stuff that we enabled. And let's click under settings projects. Here we have option to enable those. See, I can delete it, etc. Or then tags. So I can change the color of the tags here. And then activity types. So the, in this, I can uh, enable disable activity types, as you can see. So as you let's say that I can add lunch, so I don't have to always write it in summary when I'm going to have the activity type, I can simply um, can have like lunch here. Now let's click on tasks and let me show you how we can work in with the subtasks. So as you can see, we're going to see the hours spent right here, the progress. So let's say I'm going to click on it. And look at this, I can send message. I can add dash time sheets here. That's what we enabled. If it's a recurrent, let's say edit. We already had this. So let's say I'm going to click timesheet. And I can add the plan hours. I can add recurring recurrence. Look at this. How often how 
how often it's going to be recurring the task. So let's say it's going to be Wednesday, first day, Friday. Next occurrences. If it's, let's say it's going to be lunch or something. You can, of course, add a timesheet right here by add a line, employee description, initial planned hours. Let's say these are going to be 10 hours. Description working, duration one hour, remaining hours nine. And you see the progress is 10% here. See? And then how we can add subtasks. So adding as subtasks in your other project is really simple. So I can next to the forecast, click subtasks. And right here, you see for my task YouTube video, let's click subtask, let's create it. And this is the exactly same thing as when we were creating the task YouTube video, my subtask. And I could add description here, etc. Change the customer, everything, change the parent task if it's a recurrent. Then I can also add a forecast. And I can also have a like forecast right here. And that's pretty much it. So when I go back, I would click save. And then subtasks. Oh, I'm a master of project management. Ooh. And this is pretty much it, right? So when I click here on the tasks, I can see two tasks right here, but this is the YouTube video, my subtasks. Now, when I click on a project, YouTube channel, and see, this is for the subtask right here. And that's pretty much it. So this is how we can use auto project. If you can have any questions, guys, ask me down in the comments. I'll be really happy to help you provide some guidance, support. You know how it goes, you know how it is. Thank you very much. I hope you are going to have a great day and yeah, goodbye. See ya.